Hey, this is Austin St. Aubin, and I'm going to be showing you uh, the Netgear 3500L with a uh, chronoma uh, monochromatic uh, graphics display. Uh, this model is the DX300. Uh, I wouldn't recommend getting this one if you're going to do this project. If you go to SparkFun and look at their serial graphic displays, there's a really good selection. The size of this display is... 128 by 64. Um, I'd recommend the same size. They do have one bigger, but this is this works really well, and it's you can get it at SparkFun for 30 bucks. This one was 50. Uh, and as a another tomato USB project or any USB router project, the Mosey Mose key by Lacey. It uses an SD card in it, which you can upgrade. Uh, these are really low profile. They do a lot, but um, they're very low profile for the back of the router. I have mine hooked up to a, a USB switch right now to connect to my other drives. But it's extremely low profile and runs very quick. Very nice to, to load uh, all your scripts on. Anyway, let's actually get to the script and to uh, the graphics display. I'm going to show you the boot for this. Um, I have a, uh, a shell script uh, which runs all the commands. which wrote, my, wrote myself, and I will be putting that at the bottom of the post or at metausb.org uh, or .com uh, in their form section. I'll be posting there as well. Um, before I launch into this, I want to say the, uh, these are really nice. There's only three ca uh, cables or cords that are used for communicating and powering these LCD screens. So I was able to hook it up into an audio jack, which uh, I modded to this router so that um, you know, in the bottom of the router I just have a, another audio out jack uh, and I can put any type of audio cable I want in between them and therefore put the, the screen anywhere I want. I have found that to be very a very good choice. Um, the screen requires 5 volts. I've wired uh, 5 volts to it from the USB port. Um, and then it's sharing the ground of the serial connection uh, for this, the display. So um, the power uh, going in on the 5 volt line and the 3 volt power for the serial communication goes down to the ground. Uh, the, the white wire is the actual serial output communication from the router, which goes into the serial communication for the um, uh, screen. And here's how I wired it to uh, the TTL on this one. It should be the uh, receiving on any other LCD screen that you do. Um, if you want to do the same model, you can. Spark fun, I think you can, might be able to put a little bit better use to out of the commands. There are some things that I'm having a problem with, with because of the display itself. Here we go. I'm going to show you the running cycle. And I have it bound so that the script starts when I push this button. There we go. And it's doing the first render, and this is just the thing. And there are the stats. Um, the bottom graphs are networking. Uh, download or uh, RX and then CX or uh, upload. Uh, it gives me WAM stats and everything. And these all update uh, every one to three seconds. I have uh, the network stats set to uh, to render every two or three seconds right now to, to give them a little more accuracy. There's nothing being downloaded right now, so uh, the graphs aren't doing much, but they usually do. Uh, this circle up here is uh, plans for an analog clock I just haven't completed. Anyway, that's my display. I hope you guys enjoyed.